Look at what it does to you. My foot's so swollen I can hardly uh, put my boot on. This is a horrendous thing. If I get any worse today, I might have to go to the hospital. As Greg scouts for a new 30-day survival challenge location, one decision puts his health at risk and jeopardizes the entire adventure. Warning, the following images are graphic and may induce itching and nightmares. Viewer discretion advised. Well guys, I uh, wanna tell you about the worst motel experience I've ever had in my life. I stayed in this motel and uh, didn't realize it at the time, but it was infested with bed bugs. Maybe this is why I don't stay in motels. I should have just uh, camped out in my hammock somewhere, but I'm on a road trip trying to do a video for you. And uh, it's really tough today to function. I feel sick to my stomach. I got about 300 bites and I ne I've never been so itchy in all my life. I'm covered in bites from head to toe. I'm gonna show you some of this. I took some uh, Claritin, some Advil. I got a pounding headache. But I think I'm just gonna have to sleep today because this is not working out. I never thought that uh, bed bugs would be so bad. I literally feel physically sick. I've got so many bites maybe, or maybe I'm allergic, I don't know. But I've never had this experience before. I'll show you my foot so swollen I can hardly uh, put my boot on. This is a horrendous thing. I'll show you my forehead. I've been bitten everywhere. My eye was almost shut this morning. Look at what it does to you. I never knew. Like my forehead swollen, my eye was swollen shut this morning. I mean, you want to talk about itchy and painful. The bites, they blister up. Like, I can hardly move my foot. This is terrible. My shoulder, just bitten to pieces. I, uh, I've never experienced this and don't want to again. I know some of you probably had uh, encounters like this, but I never knew if you got this many bites, it would make you like physically sick. So today's a write off. I'm just gonna sleep, take medications, and I'm gonna camp near a hospital because if I get any worse today, I might have to go to the hospital. I just feel so sick. Hopefully tomorrow we can do what I came to do, do some fishing, and uh, we'll see how I feel. Yeah, look at that. Horrendous. The bites on my hands. Like just everywhere. It's just unreal. So, I mean, I didn't notice that these bugs were even in the bed until the next morning and I saw this bug on the pillow. And I didn't really think anything of it. It took a day for these welts and rashes and bumps and itchiness to show up but now and they say don't itch these bites i'm telling you it's the most itchy bite it's 10 times worse than mosquito bites and they blister and weep and it's just terrible like i don't even want to go out in public uh looking like this it's just terrible but anyway i phoned the motel and told them you got an issue here you better fix it I mean, they shouldn't be renting rooms out that are full of bed bugs. It's just ridiculous. I did end up in the hospital on an IV all day, but as you can see, things were getting worse, not better. And apparently they wouldn't have got better without antibacterial medicines that they put me on. But I gotta get out salmon fishing. I mean, that's what I came here for. And I can't let this throw a monkey wrench in everything I came to do. But I'm feeling better now already so they're working i think by tomorrow i can get out try to get some salmon find out from the locals they're fishing from shore even and catching them from shore salmon that's unreal i thought you'd have to troll 
in a boat for sure down riggers this that but they're catching them from shore so let's see if we can do that tomorrow let this video be a reminder the challenge of survival is constant sometimes you're safest in the shadows of the bush i'm way up here on vancouver island salmon are biting and this is what we want to hear He broke my line, big one this time. Hear that reel going? 